9.59 p.m. The Toffees were battered in truth, especially in the second half. Everton's defending started badly and only got worse as the game went on. This result won't do much for David Unsworth's chances of getting the Goodison job permanently. 9.57 p.m. Embarrassment for Everton. Andreas Cornelius nods in from a corner, capping off a horrible night for the home side. 9.56 p.m. Wayne Rooney has a shocker while attempting to get back and help his defense, losing the ball in the box and nearly allowing Atalanta to score. 9.55 p.m. That could have been 51 to Atalanta. Mattia Caldera is allowed to run at the defense and sets up Gomez on the edge of the area, but he can only smash a shot wide. 9.53 p.m. Papu Gomez roars forwards and shoots just wide of the post. Everton's defending has been non-existent for much of this half. 9.52 p.m. It's starting to look like a rout now. Barely a minute after Gossens' goal, former Cardiff City striker Andreas Cornelius slaloms into the box and slots low under Robles. 9.51 p.m. Game over. Atalanta win a corner which is headed out to the feet of Robin Gossens. He smashes home the rebound. Nothing Robles could do about that one. 9.47 p.m. Sandra Ramirez stings e Trit Barish's palms with a vicious effort from distance. The Everton frontman seems to have found some reserves of confidence here. 9.44 p.m. Everton make another substitution, with Kevin Marias coming off for Dominic Calvert-Lewin. 9.42 p.m. Benny Banajim gets a huge cheer after two tough tackles in the midfield. A 19-year-old has put in an energetic performance tonight, which is one positive for Everton at least. 9.39 p.m. Tom Davies sees yellow after a late challenge on Remo Freuler. Tom Davies gets a bit too enthusiastic with the challenge on Remo Freuler credit Ali Scarf app 9.35 p.m. Sandro Ramirez finally gets on the score sheet, assisted by Kevin Marias. Marias gets down the right and clips a pass to the Spanish striker, who leathers a low shot into the far corner. 9.29 p.m. Meanwhile, the away end is literally rocking right now, with BT Sports television cameras beaming bouncing images to our screens. David Dunsworth brings off John Ju Kenny and replaces him with Morgan Feeney, who makes his debut for the Toffees. 9.28 p.m. Way, way too easy for Atalanta, with Brian Cristant glancing in a header from a corner. Defensively, Everton have been pretty terrible tonight. That goal was emblematic of their recent struggles, really. It's turning into a grim night for the home team credit Robbie J. Barrett Getty Images 9-4 p.m. Andrea Masiello, who took a knock earlier on, comes off for Juventus Loni Mattia Caldera. Everton also make a change bringing off Davy Clausen for Nikola Vlasic. 9-2-3 p.m. Robles is called into action again after Michael Keane is muscled off the ball by Hans Haitbor, who thunders a shot at the Everton keeper. The resulting corner comes to nothing. There's another goal coming for the visitors if Everton keep playing like this. 9-2-0 p.m. Kevin Marias wins a free kick just outside the box after drawing a foul from Jose Luis Palomino. Wayne Rooney fires a decent delivery to the back post, but his teammates are nowhere to be seen. 9-1-5 p.m. Everton are on the ropes here, with Robles forced into a desperate save from a corner and only a goal line clearance from John Joe Kenny stopping a follow-up goal for Cristant. 9-1-2 p.m. Joel Robles makes a fantastic double save from Papu Gomez to keep the scoreline at 10. Everton fans will hope that can galvanize a turnaround. Robles gets low to save Papu Gomez spot kick credit Robbie J. Barrett Getty Images 9-1-1 p.m. Brian Cristant catches the Everton defense cold and Ashley Williams takes his legs out from under him in the box. The ref points to this spot, quite rightly. 9-08 p.m. and Everton fans aren't exactly rushing back to their seats. Can the Toffees salvage something here? 8.57 p.m. Everton have shown a few glimmers of self-expression, but Atalanta deserve their 10 lead. The Toffees switched off for Brian Cristante's goal and have looked a bit disorganized at times. Their defensive struggles aren't too surprising considering that they've already conceded 24 goals in the Premier League this term. It's been another tough game for Everton so far credit Andrew Yates Reuters 8.52 p.m. Marias gets another shot on target, this time a half volley from the edge of the box. Etrit Barisha gets down low and blocks with relative ease. 8.51 p.m. Atalanta defender Andrea Masiella looks like he might have to come off with injury, but a bit of magic spray seems to do the trick. 8.43 p.m. So close for Everton Tom Davies takes a snapshot in the box and it looks certain to cross the line, only for Atalanta defender Rafael Toloi to throw himself in the way.
8.42 p.m. Papu Gomez stands over an Atalanta free kick from 35 yards and pings in a dangerous delivery, but nobody can get a touch on the ball. 8.40 p.m. Andrea Patania shows great close control in front of the Everton box, whipping a speculative shot not far wide of the post. 8.36 p.m. Hands on heads at Goodison Marias bursts into the box and sees an angled shot saved by Etret Barisha, with the rebound falling perfectly for Sandro Ramirez. With the goal gaping, Ramirez can only sky the ball up and over the bar. That's a bad miss from a man who's struggled all season. Kevin Marias looks to get a shot away credit Ali Scarf at A3 3 p.m. Kevin Marias makes a brief foray forward for Everton, but the Toffees are looking a bit limp up front at the moment. 8 2 6 p.m. Atalanta win a free kick just outside the area, but Papu Gomez shoots straight at Joel Robles. 8 1 9 p.m. That was coming, with Atalanta getting a firm grip on possession in the last 10 minutes. Timothy Castain made a marauding run down the right wing practically unopposed, squaring for Brian Cristant to slide a shot past a static Everton defense. 8 1 1 p.m. Another decent chance for the hosts, this time created by Wayne Rooney. Rooney makes hay down the right flank and hits a cross straight to Sandro Ramirez, but a brave intervention from Atalanta keeper Etrich Beridia stops the Spanish striker from getting a shot away. Wayne Rooney in action at good isn't credit Peter Byrne played 07 p.m. First chance for Everton, as Davy Clausen hits a swerving shot over the crossbar from distance. 8.04 p.m. And the handshakes are progressing nicely. With the formalities over, Atalanta will kick things off. 7.36 p.m. Atalanta Barisha, Toloi, Palomino, Masiello, Haitbor, Cristant, Arun, Froiler, Castain, Patania, Gomez. Subs Gallini, Gossens, Cornelius, Caldera, Kurtic, Mancini, Ilicic, 7.05 p.m. Gian Piero Gasparini believes Everton's limp start to the season is a key factor in Atalanta standing on the verge of progressing to the Europa League knockout stages. Everton's hopes of finishing in the top two in Group E have evaporated already with two games still to play, while their struggles both at home and abroad led to the sacking of manager Ronald Koeman last month. Only pride is at stake for the Toffees as they welcome Atalanta to Goodison Park tonight, but the Italians will book their place in the last 32 if they avoid defeat. Atalanta opened their Europa League campaign with a 30 victory over Everton in the reverse fixture in September, a result Gadosperini acknowledged has been critical to their successful campaign in Europe. The Atalanta head coach said with such a small number of teams in a group and a small number of games, once you start getting ahead on points then it's difficult for other teams to come back at you. It was vital for us to start really well. Undoubtedly the first game was very important against Everton and the victory laid down the basis. Perhaps the thing that has helped us in particular and the real surprise is that Everton have struggled in the group, and the fact that Everton are already mathematically out at such a relatively early stage is something that certainly helped us. But when you play these kind of games in England, they're never simple. Everton may well be out but coming to a stadium like this and playing against a team here in England is always tough so we're not going to make any mistakes of thinking it's done and dusted. Can Everton get a token result this evening? Credit Carl Ress and Air Reuters.